Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today is Monday. Um, we are starting our second week of school, but this week we only have um, school for two days, okay? So just Monday and Tuesday, and that is it. So happy Monday to everyone. Um, today we're gonna continue with subtraction, and today's lesson is subtraction lesson number six. In this lesson, students will learn how to subtract across zeros. Now, subtracting across zeros can be a little bit tricky and it is um, very difficult for some of you, but hopefully by the end of this lesson, um, you guys will have a better understanding on how to do this, okay? So, let's go ahead and start. So, how do we subtract across zeros? When subtracting, you want to keep the places lined up neatly, always nice and neat. Second step is to start in the ones place. We always start here, okay? And then, when we're doing subtraction, we have to make sure the digit on the top is larger than the digit on the bottom. If the number on the bottom is larger, then we're going to have to borrow, okay? So you always want to make sure you've got larger numbers up at the top. All right, and the very last step is to work your way from right to left as you subtract. So we're going to start here, and we're going to go over that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our ones place. Now, whenever you are subtracting across zeros, this is the very first thing you have to do. You want to change these zeros, okay? Because if you notice here, my two, my seven, and my five are all larger than zero. So I already know I'm gonna have to borrow. So the very first thing is, if I've got zero, can I borrow from zero? No. Can I borrow from zero? No. Can I borrow from one? Yes. So this is where I'm going to borrow from. So this one becomes a zero. This becomes a nine, nine, and this becomes a 10. Does that make sense? So now that we've got a value that we can work with, then we can begin to subtract. So we've got 10 minus five, five. Nine minus seven, two. Nine minus two, seven. And zero minus nothing, well that would just be zero. So our answer should be 725. Now it is your turn. You are going to subtract the three digit numbers and you are going to use scratch paper if you need to, okay? So you are going to work on the 10 questions by yourself. I am also going to include another video to hopefully help you guys with some more examples. Um, and try your very best. Again, use your brain, draw a picture, use your fingers, whatever you need to in order to solve. Okay, so good luck to everyone. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.